Hey guys, welcome back to Robot in 30 Hours. My name is Justin Pointer, uh, and we're gonna be looking over some of these uh, uh, shipping hubs. So we got the Alliance shipping hub here, and as long as, as well as the uh, shared one. Um, so we're gonna look at these a little bit. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, welcome to, to the fun. fun. First update is now supported by Kettering University. On average, Kettering students earn $45,000 to $70,000 over the course of their co-op program to help them graduate debt-free. 99% of students qualify for a merit scholarship and you can apply for one of the 80 plus first scholarships worth up to $25,000 each. If you are a U.S. student grades 8 through 12, scan the QR code to stay up to date on info and events happening at Kettering and get a free Kettering t-shirt when you sign up by December 12th, 2021. Just to note, the base of this, this uh, is the same as just the bottom of this. Um, so one thing that you'll notice right away is that there is actually ridges in this. Um, so if you were to put a ball in this, they kind of stay within the ridge there. And especially, you know, when you have it onto the here, stays within that little ridge. Same as when it's on kind of the inside. But on the top of this one, the, your Alliance one, it can roll all the way around and that could throw off your balance. So that's something to note. The middle level is the same concept of there is some ridges in there. So the balls will kind of hold themselves in there. So getting this level, one thing that you might want to look at is if we put, you know, a heavyweight there, a heavyweight there, maybe we'll put another medium weight. And as you can notice, it's still level at the moment. But if you were to go and, you know, put something else on and it's still level. But if your robot to is maybe to bump it on accident, that can throw it off level. So while it was level, some little bump can actually throw it off. Um, so that's something to kind of note is even the slightest little bump can uh, uh, put it off. And while the rules do state moving or bumping these is a major penalty, which is minus 30 points, something you really don't want to get, slight bump that's accidental will most likely occur, especially um, with different actuators and stuff to get uh, parts onto here. So um, again, balls kind of sit in there and we'll kind of load this up. So you can see on the bottom, let's see how many we can get on here. So 16, so that's currently 16, looks like 17, 18 would fit on there, no problem. Um, so about six or 16 to 18 balls, no problem on the bottom. You could probably store even more uh, if you kind of put them there in between. They might be more prone to fall out like that, but uh, 18 does uh, would fit pretty well on the, the uh, bottom layer for level one. For level two, um, let's see how many we're looking at. Looking at actually pretty similar number, um, but you know, obviously much more tightly packed. And again, if you were to get able to kind of stack those up, you could fit a lot more of those on there. Top, let's see how many we can get on here. The ball's on top. So that's pretty well packed there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we got 12 balls on there on top and uh, that's pretty full. And again, you probably could stack them on there. It might be a little bit more of a challenge, but 12 fits in there pretty comfortably. So let's now look at the, uh, the cubes and how those kind of fit in there. So unlike the balls, the cubes kind of sit in their place a little bit more, but uh, they definitely can still uh, move around a little bit, which could be uh, hurtful, especially if it's some of these heavier ones. They really like to, uh, to tip it over. Um, but you can, it's about the same amount of space, so you could expect probably up to about 18 um, down here on the bottom, which we can test it out, and I'll see if I can balance this out here. And one thing to notice is that there is different weights of these. There is a lightweight that has no weights in it. There is a medium weight that has one weight on each side. There's also a heavy weight that has two weights on each side. Um, so that is something to note. We do have a video out looking at the different weights and taking averages of them to see kind of uh, about how much they weigh um, and what you could expect. They are off a little bit from what the game rules say, but they're pretty close within a couple grams. So we're gonna kind of load this up so you guys can kind of see how it would look like. We loaded all the cubes in here. Yeah. 
So it's pretty solid for how many you can store in there. And again, you could store cubes on the top as well. So there is 60 cubes uh, on there. So pretty easily you could fit 60, if not more, on here um, without an issue. So let's see how much we can load this up. So we're gonna throw our 60 cubes that we have on there right now. We also have 16 uh, balls. So we'll see if we can load those all up. Kind of place those up there. And let's not forget the ducks because let's be honest, those are all our favorites. Now, I would love if one of you would somehow be able to calculate this and put in the comments of how many points would this be? It would be kind of crazy. I mean, this is all the pieces we have. And of course, all these pieces are available to buy at Andy Mark. So you can go check them out there if you uh, don't have the parts already or want more of them too. Um, so thanks for guys watching and everything. Um, be sure to check out all of our other videos. We have plenty of other videos uh, covering many different topics uh, and everything that we've been working on. Um, so uh, please go check those out and thanks for watching. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Kettering University is the leader in new programs of expertise, including artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and automotive engineering design. If you are a U.S. student grades 8 through 12, scan the QR code to stay up to date on info and events happening at Kettering and get a free Kettering t-shirt when you sign up by December 12, 2021. Thank you to Animark, GoBuilda, and Rev Robotics for providing components and giveaways to the Bulldogs Robot in 30 Hours team. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.